Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the last haul of 2021. So if you'd like to see the fragrances I am adding to my collection to end this year, then keep watching. This year has been incredibly stressful. Some really great things happened, some really horrible things happened. I'm not gonna go into it. I think if any of you guys have followed my channel the past few months, you obviously know. The biggest thing in the um, the acquisition of fragrance department that kind of kept me from adding a lot of fragrances to my collection the past few months have been the remodeling of my office. My office is where I store my fragrances, so I decided until my office was set up, I wasn't going to be adding a lot of fragrances to my collection. Also, a lot of <laughs> the budget for fragrance went into the um, this office going over budget whenever you remodel things you have a budget for things and then obviously everything is more expensive than you plan and so you know fragrance luxury fun money went into um obviously this project going over budget which is totally okay because this is pretty an awesome room it's almost done once the table is done and everything's completely done and decorated i'll share it with you guys hopefully um sometime in january so i don't have many fragrances to share with you guys but I do have a bunch a lot of these are gifts and I like I said I haven't added too many fragrances to my collection purchase wise but I do have really big plans to add a lot of pretty decent fragrances to my collection ones that are a little bit more um, splurge worthy and ones that have been part of my must buy wish list for a very long time so 2022 I have big plans to add a lot of more um, substantial fragrances to my collection so those hauls will be a lot more um, impressive but I do have some impressive fragrances to add to my collection so I'm really excited. I'm going to start off with my Margot Elena, Margot Elena fragrances. If I have reviews of any of these or if I reference any videos where I talk about my thoughts on types of fragrances like this I'll link it below but I did add three new fragrances to my collection. Two of these were a gift from my mom and two of them were a purchase. So my mom gave me Radiant Gem from Tokyo Milk. And I think Margot Elena started a new kind of line. She has a bunch, obviously she has Lolia, um, Library of Flowers, um, Tokyo Milk, one other, I forget the name. And I think Infinite She, this is Inspire. So she gave me this Ruler Ball and Radiant Gem. She has the subscription box. So if anything doesn't work out for her, she gives it to me. So that's where these came from. And actually, Ipsy had two Tokyo Milk fragrances for like 12 bucks, so I purchased those. So this is 2,000 Flowers Under the Sea I ended up picking up, and Tainted Love. This is part of Tokyo Milk Dark. And I really like these. If you would like me to review any of these, let me know. I did do a video talking about my Margot Elena collection. Obviously, these were not part of it, but I talk a little bit about what I think about Margot Elena and just how I think it's so cool how she's kind of started this like fragrance um, beauty empire and she kind of branches off and does little things. I think it's really cool. I think she's really resourceful and very talented. So um, I'm really excited to add these fragrances to my collection. They smell really, really good and I do like scents a lot. Normally what I do is I will share with you the fragrances that I purchased or are given to me as gifts from like friends or family or from swaps. And at the end I will share fragrances that I got via PR. But since this box is so mixed, I'm just gonna share. I'm just literally grabbing and just sharing as I grab. So this was sent to me as PR. I haven't even removed the little sticker yet. This is from To Me, this is Continuum. I'm gonna be reviewing this obviously in the next few weeks. I obviously have not even worn it yet. I really like the other two, Awaken and Unwind. I think that they're really great fragrances, really wearable, really excessively priced. So I am excited to get my nose on this and try it and wear it and share my review with you guys. So I will be reviewing this in the upcoming weeks and <laughs> just some PR I have. I grabbed it and I was like, this wasn't gonna be part of it, but I'll share it. I got some PR from brands where I purchased fragrances. <laughs> so I'm gonna be having giveaways. So Mix Bar actually reached out to me and asked if they wanted to send me some things. I said, sure, why not? I have purchased every single fragrance from Mix Bar. I'm going to be doing probably very early January, first or second week of January. I'm going to be doing an entire kind of brand overview of Mixbar. 
I know plenty of people have talked about this brand. I'm not the first, nor will I be the last, but I wanted to wear them and kind of mix and match and see what I really thought before I shared my thoughts about They're them. They're a very excessively priced brand you can find at Target. I purchased everything, so I'm gonna be giving you guys a review based on purchase. I know a lot of people don't like fragrances or reviews when things were sent for free, like free bottle reviews or paid um, sponsorships or affiliate codes. So the reviews are based on fragrances that I purchased that I've been trying throughout the year, but I figured that the PR they sent me, I would do as a giveaway. So I do have a kind of little, um, little sample set. I have a full size bottle of vanilla bourbon and I have their little, um, I think this is like a, one of those like travel pens, like the fragrance pens of glass rose. So when I do that video, I will have this giveaway. So that is kind of cool. It was very nice of them to do that because I did say I had everything and they're like, okay, so we're still gonna send it to you. I was like, that's very nice. But I did want to pass these on to um, you guys if you haven't had the opportunity to try them. Speaking of mix bar, I did get um, Blackberry Tonic. I do really like their, um, their, their body mist. So I figured, I'd share that as part of this little part of the haul. Now I did add two new fragrances from House of Matriarch to my collection. First obviously is Kiki. I've reviewed this, I've talked about this <laughs> if you are unfamiliar. This is the fragrance that uh, Lola, Lola Sens, Christy Michelle, owner, matriarch, artist of House of Matriarch and myself collabed on this year to create. It's a beautiful kind of dusty, earthy, a violet tea fragrance really really gorgeous i'll link the video below if you want to know about that so i do have this bottle and i purchased the second i saw this um this fragrance i immediately pre-ordered it burlwood i love what christy does with woody aromatics and i love like when i smelled madrona which is the first fragrance i smelled from her that really was the gateway fragrance into House of Matriarch. And I saw that that was in here with some beautiful noble woods. I just, I had to get this. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I pre-ordered this. And when I pre-ordered it, I got a travel size of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm not gonna take this out. When I review Burlwood, I will be doing a giveaway for the travel size. So I already have at least two giveaways planned for you guys. I have more giveaways most definitely planned, but I am excited to review this. I've only been wearing it for the past few days. I need to wear it for at least another week or two before I review. So it'll probably be up again, beginning of January. So look for that review and also giveaway. I'm excited for that. This fragrance, when it was, when I first decided to go on my hiatus from purchasing fragrances, this fragrance was in transit when I filmed my last fragrance um, haul. So I've had this fragrance for a very long time and a lot of people really like this fragrance and a lot of people were very disappointed with this fragrance. I love this scent and I like seeing houses um, being creative, jumping out of the box, kind of doing different things and this house is known for that. But I also know that this house has been a little bit more aggressive with creativity in the past so I can see some people not liking this scent and not liking the state that this house is going, but I really like this fragrance. And it's Ghosts in the Shell from Etat Libre d'Orange. I'm not gonna go too much into this fragrance because I've talked about this a lot. I did first impression. I talked about it being one of my favorite new releases of 2021. So I don't think I need to go too into this fragrance. I'll link those videos below if you want reference, but I'm really excited for this fragrance and I do really, really enjoy it. I think it's fantastic. So it is polarizing. I can definitely understand people not liking it and being very disappointed in it. Myself, on the other hand, I really just very pleased with it. Now, Sephora, Ulta, everybody always has those like special sales around Christmas time where you get like nice discounts on fragrance. So I finally decided to purchase something that I sold a small bottle of a very long time ago. This is something that I've just been meaning to purchase. And I know we're in the middle of winter, but Florida winters go so fast and then we're in the middle of summer and I just needed to get a bottle of this and I've been meaning to get a big old bottle of it. So I finally repurchased Atelier Cologne Pomelo Paradise. This fragrance I had a small bottle of, I loved years ago, I sold my small bottle of, and I've had little decants and samples of, like pocket perfumes of, and it was like 30% off at Sephora. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. 
It was the last bottle. I've been meaning to buy it. So I finally picked up a big bottle of this because it's been years. I've been putting it off because I've had so many samples of it. But it's such a beautiful fragrance and so good for spring and summertime, especially when you live in a humid environment. So I'm very happy to finally have that fragrance back in my collection. My mom, aside from the, um, the Tokyo Milk fragrances, also got this from one of her um, subscription boxes. This is the Dry Body Oil from Lolia and Dream beautiful fragrance. I love this, these types of products. So she gifted me this, so I have that. And then she also picked me up a bottle of Yardley um, English Rose. I don't know why I wanted to say Turkish Rose, English Rose. She also picked me up a bottle of the Violet. I already own that, so I'm going to be using that for another giveaway. So again, I have a bunch of giveaway items for you guys coming up pretty soon. This is such a pretty, easy to wear rose. It's very delicate, it's very pretty. And what I like about Yardley scents is they're so affordable and they're so accessible and they work so well. So I'm really happy to have this. I need to kind of explore this house a little bit more. I love their other products. I only own two of their fragrances now, but I do really enjoy just the brand in general. I did a review of this. This is a discontinued fragrance. You might still be able to find this gift box, the TJ Maxx or Marshalls, that's where I found it, that's why I picked it up, and it's Sarah Jessica Parker Stash Unspoken. I spent like 15, 16 bucks for the bottle and like the shower gel and the body cream. So I got these guys, really happy I did. I love Stash, I think Stash was such a really kind of game-changing celebrity scent. Not that celebrity scents aren't good, they're fantastic, but a lot of people don't take celebrity fragrances seriously within the fragrance community. They kind of look down on celebrity fragrances, not singular independent celebrity fragrances, but celebrity fragrances as a whole. And I think Stash kind of changed people's mind on scents. Uh, specifically specifically celebrity owned fragrances and I think the stash line is really really awesome I do enjoy unspoken and I like these types of products companion products so if you had been looking for unspoken and you've been finding it on eBay and other places for you know like 60 80 bucks maybe try your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls I don't know if they're still around they might have been snatched up but like I said I found this um, beginning of December I think or very end of November for around 16 bucks. And this brand reached out to me and offered to send me these bottles in exchange for a review and I always like to kind of explore new and emerging brands and I was really excited for these fragrances so I will be reviewing these um, within the first few weeks of January. I've been wearing them for a few weeks now and I love them. I think these are fantastic and it's from Masi and it's Into Me. This is for women and for men. Great fragrances. I don't want to go too into it because I'm really excited to really explore and talk about these fragrances for my review. So I will be doing that, but really, really been just wowed by these scents. They smell really good, very accessible in regards to just how they smell. They're not too challenging, but there's something really unique about them that I really, really enjoy. These next few things are the subscription service I have from Sense of Wood. I figured I'd share them with you. So the first one we got in bourbon, I'm really excited about this one. I've worn it a few times. Amazing. And then last, I got the giant one. So this is like the limited edition. I think they're having this in 2022. I don't know. I'll have to look on the website. If they do, I'll link it below. That link will not be an affiliate link. Um, if you can sign up, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they're still continuing the subscription service. Like I just said 10 seconds ago. If they are, I will link it below. Like they have like after a few months, you get like this special limited edition box. It's really heavy. It's really nice. I really like it. And I've been so impressed with Sense of Wood, you guys. So I only own two bottles currently from them and I really want to own most of them, if not all of them. I've really been impressed with their fragrances. Like I said before, when I was talking about my favorite fragrances of 2021, uh, new releases, Fragrances most worn. Whenever I have a chance to talk about fragrances this year that I've discovered that I've really been loving and wearing, Sons of Wood have always come up. This is a brand that I think if you really enjoy wood as a main component in a scent and you want to kind of explore it in different ways, I think this is a house worth exploring. Uh, even if you just get samples or even if you just try out their subscription service, 
You can find some that sometimes you can find them on Semper. That's how I discovered them. But I've been really, really impressed with the brand. So this is a brand I'm really excited to kind of explore and dive into and add more fragrances to my collection. My mom also got me this little um, splash of Le Gallien Sortilege uh, Parfum de Toilette and I love it. This is so good. This is such a good fragrance. I don't have many vintage fragrances in my collection but the ones that I do I love and I love to wear and I'm so excited to have this little guy. She kind of treated me to this. It was so sweet and it is such a beautiful fragrance and yeah. So I have this one too. So I also have my scentbird and two scentbirds that my mom actually gave me. So I'm just gonna grab them. This is the Grace de Monaco Promenade Sur la Rocher. This is the fragrance um, in kind of remembrance of Grace Kelly charity fragrance. I'll link that review below. Beautiful fragrance and it retails for $560. So. This is worth, if you were to pay price per mil, $145. You have a Scentbird subscription, it's $15 a month. If you don't, it's like $21. So this is a great deal to try this scent. I go into like the charity, the pricing, my thoughts on why it's priced so high. But as a kind of very mature, but still very flirty and feminine rose fragrance, I, I love it, I really do. I'm still considering if I want to purchase a bottle of it. These two are the ones my mom gave me. And <laughs> so the first one we have here is from Hermetica. Jade 888. I haven't tried this yet, so I might do a first impressions. And the second one is from Raja. This is Scandal, and I believe this is the cologne. So this is in the uh, the infamous purple bottles that everybody is so tired of uh, YouTubers reviewing. But I might review this. I haven't decided. If you'd like me to review this, let me know. Again, I didn't even choose this. <laughs> my mom chose this for her Scentbird, so if you'd like me to review it, let me know. That simmer Down from Scent Trunk, which is gorgeous. I do wanna talk about this fragrance. I've had it for a bit. I've been wearing it for a bit. I finally found it to share it with you guys. So these are kind of like my kind of travel size scents, but I did wanna start sharing these with you guys so you can see what I get. And my mom does unload a lot of these on me all the time. One of, I think it was like BoxyCharm. I got this perfume oil from Riddle Original. It's like it retails for like 50 bucks. I mean, I've worn it a few times in the morning. It doesn't smell bad. It smells kind of nice, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is even something you guys would want me to review. If you'd want me to review it, let me know. It's just something I probably would throw in my bag and wear if like my scent wears off throughout the day. It's nice. I don't know if it's worth 50 bucks, but it's a fragrance of it. It's my collection. And I have another little Kiki. So this is the second version of Kiki. I forgot it was in here. So um, this is what I was wearing a lot, a lot, a lot the last few months in between, I'd say like September and like, like mid-November before the final um, version of Kiki. So I've worn through this a lot. It's practically empty, but this is what I've been wearing to test out the final version um, to figure out what I wanted uh, the direction of the fragrance to go. So I have this too. two last fragrances. One fragrance is one that I adore. Actually, I adore both of these. So first is Midnight Jasmine from Parles and Parfums. I don't know. I had a such a hard time saying that. I'm very tired. My nephews and my um, sister and brother-in-law are here and my nephews are very young, very excited because it's Christmas time, so I'm very tired, but for, for good reasons. Uh, beautiful fragrance review this. I'll link the review below. I really love this house. This is one of my favorite um, new houses of 2021. I talk about it um, for my favorite releases of 2021. Again, I'll link that video below. And the second fragrance is a uh, fragrance that I think is so underappreciated. I haven't decided if I want to review this scent, but it's Malaysia from Zerjoff. This fragrance is gorgeous. Such an underappreciated fragrance from the house. Now, a lot of people, when they look at Oud Stars from Zerjoff, they really focus on Alexandria too. And do not get me wrong, that fragrance is dang near a masterpiece. I adore it. But this one, I think it's just one of the most underappreciated fragrances from the house in general, let alone the Oud Stars line. So I had to pick up a bottle of this. This was kind of like a Christmas gift to myself. 
and I'm so glad I finally have it in my collection. Hey guys, that's it. That's my fragrance haul, the last haul of 2021. Not super impressive considering it's been the past three months, but I do have some really awesome fragrances to add, some really exciting things to review for you guys, and some fragrances I'm finally am excited to get to see the light of day. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't actually get any fragrances for Christmas, so I don't have like, this is what I got for Christmas. I actually only bought myself fragrances for Christmas, which was the Pomelo Paradise from Atelier and this fragrance from Zerjoff, but I did get some nice Christmas cash, which I'm gonna use for fragrance purchases the coming months, so I'm really excited for that. But I would love to know what fragrances you guys got under the Christmas tree or got for the holidays. Let me know in the comment section below and also let me know what fragrances you're excited to wear the coming new year. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.